Netanyahu says Livni doesn't represent Israeli government. Two Israeli journalists attacked during Ramallah clashes. A huge Maccabi Tel Aviv victory in Milan. And Israelis light bonfires to ring in the holiday. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are the headlines for Sunday, May 18th. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office told Justice Minister Tsipi Livni on Saturday night that she did not represent the state of Israel when she met in London with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Before the Thursday meeting, Netanyahu told Livni Israel's policy is not to negotiate with the Palestinian government that is united with Hamas, a terrorist organization intent on destroying the Jewish state. An official from the Prime Minister's office who spoke with Livni said, quote, You will represent only yourself and not the government of Israel. Livni, as well as Palestinian officials, did not publicly comment on the London meeting. Following tensions on Nakba Day, the Prime Minister said during a cabinet meeting earlier today that the Palestinian territories has the largest concentration of anti-Semitism of any other region in the world. <laughs> שהמקום עם רמת האנטישמיות הגבוהה ביותר אצל הבוגרים היא אצל הרשות הפלסטינית. 93% מהבוגרים שם מחזיקים בדעות אנטישמיות. His comments followed a Friday attack of two Israeli journalists during Palestinian riots in Betunia near Ramallah. The journalists, Walla Arab Affairs analyst Avi Izaharov and a cameraman, were attacked after a Palestinian woman claiming to be a journalist set the rioters after them. Izaharov claimed in a Twitter post that he was attacked only because he is Israeli. The journalists were covering riots outside of the Ofer prison as mourners in Ramallah held funerals for two Palestinian youths killed on Thursday during attacks on security forces in which Palestinians threw firebombs and rocks and soldiers responded with rubber bullets. After the remarkable victory over CSKA Moscow in the semi-finals, Maccabi Tel Aviv enters Sunday's EuroLeague final against Real Madrid, believing anything is possible. Jerusalem Post sports correspondent Alon Sinai reporting. A moment Maccabi Tel Aviv fans have been waiting for since 2005 could finally arrive tonight when their team faces Real Madrid in Milan for the European Championship title. Maccabi entered the EuroLeague Final Four as a firm underdog after a roller coaster season, but David Blatt's team stunned CSK Moscow in Friday's semi final thanks to a remarkable comeback, with guard Tyrese Rice scoring the winning basket in a 68 67 victory with 5.5 seconds to play. Game for them, back with three up, he loses the ball. David Blue steals it, Tyrese Rice to the rim, puts it down, Maccabi's ahead, 67 68. 5.5 seconds left, Tanosic to Weems to win it off the mark, and Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv takes the semi-final in the last seconds from Sesetka, Moscow. 60. The final EuroLeague game will air tonight at 9 p.m. Israel time. Tens of thousands of people embarked on a trek to Mount Meron near Tzfat in the Upper Galilee on Saturday to ring in the Jewish holiday of Lagba Omer, which marks the death of 2nd century Mishnaic sage Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Over the years, the holiday took on various mystical overtones and customs. Rabbi Bar Yochai was thought to be the author of the Zohar, the foundational text of Jewish mysticism. Police issued a ban on private vehicles traveling to Meron, the burial place of the Talmudic sage, for this year's celebrations. Hundreds of thousands of people visit the site every year for the holiday commemorating the anniversary of Bar Yochai's death. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. Until then, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.